space friend, you know me, always tracking the night cycle so that I don't miss out on any Earth holidays. That's why today we're making a Christmas themed project. We'll use LEDs and a piezo buzzer to play jingle bells while the LEDs light up alongside the tune. First we set the pin numbers for the red and green LEDs as well as the buzzer. We're setting tempo to 200 and creating arrays for notes and duration. This is how long each of the notes will play for. Then we create a function called play the tone. It has parameters for note and duration. We set another array for note names C through G and an array for tones. These tones are the frequency value for each of the notes. This is the same as previous projects that we've used a buzzer for where we set the frequency in the tone function. Instead, the difference here is that we're just matching the frequency to these musical notes. This for loop is initializing i to zero, and while i is less than the size of the tones array, increase i incrementally by one. The i in brackets at the beginning of this if statement is referencing where we are in the array during this for loop. So if we've just started the loop, i is gonna be at index zero, since i is initialized to zero. Then the number that i is standing in for is going to increase incrementally through subsequent executions of the loop. So if the note equals the current position of i in the notes name array, then we are going to call the tone function. The tone function has parameters for the pin, the frequency, and duration is an optional parameter. So the arguments that we enter here are going to set the pin to the buzzer pin, or pin 8. The frequency will call on the tones array, and again utilize the placement of i in the loop. And duration will call on the durations array for how long in milliseconds each note should play. Then we light up the LEDs. We have an if statement for all the notes and which LED should light up depending on which note is playing. I just kind of randomly turn different ones on. You can be more creative than me and make an actual pattern out of it instead of just the nonsense highs and lows that I did here. So that's our play the tone function. Next we get to the setup. We set the buzzer pin and LED pins all as outputs. In the loop, we are again initializing i to zero and saying while i is less than the size of the notes array minus one, increase i incrementally by one. The reason we do minus one is because in C++ strings are represented by arrays of characters terminated by a null character. So minus one ensures that the loop only executes up to the valid elements in the notes array excluding that character that gets added at the end of the notes array. The reason we do that here and not in that first if statement that we used is because the first one was storing integers. So the null terminator character doesn't exist at the end of that array. Then if the current position of i in the notes array equals a blank space, it introduces a delay based on the duration with the line delay duration i times tempo. If the current element in the notes array is not a space indicating that it's a valid music note, the else block executes and we call the play the tone function. Delay tempo times two times duration i indicates a delay after playing each note. This is saying that the delay is twice the duration of the note being played. After we go through the loop and play the song with the LEDs lighting up, then the LEDs will turn off and the loop starts all over again. Happy holidays, space friend!